In this video, I'm going to show you how user lock can be configured to allow you to automatically log off locked machines after an idle time. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that on the target machines, we have the screensaver option on resume display log on screen. This can be enabled through a Microsoft GPO setting. Back in the user lock console, we're going to go to the properties of the agent distribution. And here we're going to check to consider screensaver time as locked time. That way in user lock we can recover the event as a locked session. Click here to apply the new setting and this will be effective on the target machines at the next reboot or we can force it to be effective immediately by restarting the user lock agent service on the target machine. So once you've done that setting, we need to now select the user accounts for which we'd like this setting to be enabled. So we're going to protect the new account uh, we can do this at the user group or OU level. I'm going to do this for uh, Active Directory group everyone. Create my protected account and then by simply double clicking on the protected account I have access to the properties and all of the settings and restrictions I can set for this protected account. So we're going to go down to our restrictions and here we have maximum locked time. So once the screensaver has been enabled, we're going to put in the amount of time that we will allow the computer to be locked before we force a log off. So for example, we can put 10 minutes. By default, the end user is going to receive a logout notification. That's by default one minute before the log off. If we'd like to allow a little bit more time, uh, if they'd like to bypass the log off, we can change that here so we can uh, apply these settings. So that's it. That's how we can configure a force log off of computers that are open after a certain amount of idle time to free up workstations and to reduce unnecessary use of resources on your network.